And we are all the way back. What's up? Man, what is good, Brody? I am Baron J67. I am T Jones. How you guys been? How you been, B? Man, you know what, man? I've been pretty good. Um, a little tired, you know, life catching up with me. It's catching But um, I need to just sleep properly. Don't, don't let it lap you. Man. Hey, <laughs> look here, people. Self-care is key. Um, you see me over here looking like a damn raccoon. Um, raccoon, not coon. Um, <laughs> He's stupid. S- self-care is seriously key. If you got to take time to yourself, if you're feeling like your day is getting ahead of you or you're you're feeling like you're drowning in your day on your life, just don't be afraid to take that time off from your job. Don't be afraid to, you know, because money is always there to be made. You know, I know it sounds I know I'm making it sound overly simple, but seriously, please take care of yourselves. Nope. Like, just hey, take baby, that time. Go to you, sleep. If you're not healthy, how can you go to work? Man, that's what I'm saying. Shoot. And do not kill yourself for a job that will easily replace you. Because believe me, before you're in the dirt, they would already had your position up and All, interviewing for always it. Always think about this. The company has to go. Has to live on. Yeah. <laughs> the company Man, has to live people on. People have to keep going. Mm-hmm. Disneyland's still running. Walt Disney been dead. The company has to live on. They don't even show his face no more. Shoot, when I, people when, just think Disney is just Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I know, right? Oh yeah, that's Walt. Yeah, like no, Walt Disney was a person. <laughs> His name is Walt. He's a person. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, like no, but long story short, all jokes aside, please folks take breathe. care of yourself. Go sit outside, twinkle your toes in the grass, take a day off from work, lay in bed. Oh uh, yeah. Hot, like I was, just I was outside just with do, no socks today. Yeah. I enjoyed like, it. Man, you you got it. You have to do those things because there's always money to be made. Mm-hmm. So that it can't it. I'm not saying that money's not important, but it can't be all about that. Can't be the all. Can't be it can't, the all. So can't be. But okay. So off of that, we got a we got some good things to talk about today. Hell yeah, we got so. I, go ahead. Oh, no. So I was going to say, you know, we want to talk about just like cartoons and what we what we used to watch coming up, you Mm -hmm. know, and I know I'm not I I guess I am almost one of the older people. I was about to say I'm not that old, but you old head. I'm almost an old head now. Old head. Yeesh. <laughs> old Yeesh. Head. <laughs> but um, but no, nah, man, I'm just thinking about things that uh, cartoons that I used to watch, and more so trying to keep it to Cartoon Network because we can go for days when it, you add in WB. Oh, to um, to be honest, ca- cartoon Cartoon Network was like my main. I mean, I, we all grew up watching WB. We all grew up watching Animaniacs and all of them. But mm-hmm. Cartoon Cartoon Network was pretty much my favorite like number one mm-hmm. we were sitting here talking about like the shows we used to watch growing up and i i can't believe there were so many gems like yeah i don't even know how many seasons there were in some of these shows because they were just so good so we used to sit back and or it i used to sit back and i remember like even like Oh, okay, because Cartoon Network has Adult Swim as well. True. So, uh, growing up, I uh, remember Toonami, and to, yeah, Toonami, because uh, Dragon Ball Z was on Toonami. Yep. But I want to say Toonami was before Adult Swim. I think it was. I, yeah, I think it was. But um, growing up, I never had like, you know how there's mature and rated. Up. I never had that growing up. You know, my mom and my grandmother and pretty much everyone in my family didn't really care about that. We yeah. would watch. I mean, I can go for days on things I've or, or movies and stuff I've watched that I shouldn't have been watching at that age. And I don't know. It changed now because my daughter can't do that. Like I, I watched. We watched the PG-13. And if it's PG-13, she can't watch it. But we didn't we didn't have that growing up. So we You're used to so watch much better than me. Who? You? Oh, me? You. I'm. <laughs> You got to, man. Hey, listen. When I... I can't watch everything. Let me me give you an example. (laughs) Let me give you an example. I was watching Caillou with my daughter. 
Uh huh. And I didn't realize how much these shows make an impression on on her, because this little boy in there whining like for stuff, and like wailing the feet and all of that. Yeah. And literally the same day. After watching that show, she started doing it. I got so pissed off. She, I said, you can't watch that show no more. <laughs> she can't. And my wife agreed. Because you imagine getting mad at your daughter because of something she watched. Like, we want her to soak up of all this information. She think that's right. She watching it. Sure. I said, heck no, nah, man. So, <laughs> so we started paying attention to, to stuff like that. But anyway, back on topic. Uh, we used to watch, like, Adult Swim and Toonami and all that stuff growing up. But Cartoon Network had so many gems. We were just running through them all. Man. And uh, like even like Dexter. Dexter was probably like my favorite. Oh, Dexter's Lab. Oh, yeah. Dexter's Laboratory was like my favorite show. And I just to see that this show started in the year 1996 is mind blowing to me. <laughs> Why'd you have to say it? Why'd you have to say it like it was all old? Like, yeah, I'm that all is old. Nineteen ninety six. You were what? Five. I was five. I was six. Uh. <laughs> I was six, and I've probably seen every episode of Dexter's Laboratory. Man, you know what? Uh, Dee Dee. <laughs> Stupid sister D-D. on on the Zenith TV. I don't even think they make oh, those no more. He said the Zenith. The Zenith. <laughs> well, let West Side Gun tell it the fifty inch Zenith. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but nah, man. You know what? For me, um, Dexter's Lab was a was a mandatory watch. Um, I'm trying to think in between that time frame. So, uh, Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls. I watched the heck. Out of Powerpuff Girls, um, what were their names? Uh, Bubbles, Buttercup, and Blossom. Was it Blossom? Blossom. Yep, yep. Buttercup was comedy, bro. Yeah. She'd just be a goon. And then um, whenever Bubbles would get mad, she turned into like the de- oh man. <laughs> and him, do you remember that creep? Yeah, that the d- main bad guy. Listen, the, the, he was scary. The tranny devil dude. Yeah. Bro, he was creepy. I remember getting nightmares about that dude. That and they, but they. It's funny because they never really when they when they showed him as a character, he wasn't. They didn't really show him like he wasn't there. Like, uh, what was his name? Um, Mojo Jojo. Yeah, he wasn't like he was like the main bad guy. Yeah, and then when they would show him, I would. Let's see what show that. That that came out ninety eight, bro. Hey, wait a second. Wouldn't he always be in a bathtub? <laughs> him? I don't and know. He, his name was him, wasn't it? <laughs> I think so. And Hold he, on. He, <laughs> Hi, Powerpuff Girls. And then he would yell like that. Yeah. Oh like, my god. Dude, that shit was creepy, bro. Like, there's no. That should have been mad warning labels all over that. That was nightmares for days. Oh my god, they they got a wiki on him, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, that dude was a level ten creeper. He was a speed demon. Yes, and he wore high heels. Yes, he wore high heel like boots. Mm-hmm. He had like a chin. He, he looked like he, he had looked a like chin Santa hair. Claus. He looked like Santa Claus did it with the devil with claws. And then they baby popped out um, with crab arms. Yeah, he has large lobster-like crab uh, claws, mm, pointed ears, mm-hmm. black widow peak hair, lime green eyes, a hooked nose, and a long curled beard. <laughs> Bro, he's just creepy. He has three long eyelashes on each eyelid, rosy pink cheeks, pink cheeks, black lips, very often in a wide smile, a lady red jacket and skirt with pink tule or tool tool. Yeah, tool at the collar and a hemline, <laughs> a back of her belt with a bronze buckle. Oh hell no! Like bro, even looking he, at the picture is scary. <laughs> bro, he was terror, and then his voice would oscillate. Like he mm. would go from super squeaky and hi guys. <laughs> they actually have s- you can get the voice. They have the gift, the gift voice. Nope. I'm good. That thing was terrible. That was that was you not, not for you better not put on song requests. 
<laughs> man, that stuff was terrible. Oh man, Fine guys, Powerpuff Girls, Powerpuff Girls, and then the way they beat up Mojo Jojo was yeah, just they, dirty. They destroyed. Well, first, them. let's let's acknowledge the professor. What was this creep doing making little kids? I don't know, dog. <laughs> hey, let you know we gotta. Who the heck thinks this. about stuff like that? At me, man, at this eight years had, old, you was thinking about that at eight. Candy and and dangerous chemicals, chemical X. How you gonna have candy and chemical X in the poor, same room? Poor candy and chemical X, and, and, and all they, that in a bucket. <laughs> and then they popped out. Talking, remember the noise? <laughs> like they was going Super Saiyan. Oh, remember the Rowdy Rough Boys? Yeah. I want to say that was the first. Ah, uh, nah, because you've seen it in like all the old X Men cartoons. But where you just see it, like boys beating the snot out of girls. Like that was mm. probably the first time I can remember. <laughs> and not just like pow, pow, punch. Oh, you're down. No, they Some was beating the yeah. holy through, hell out of each buildings other. Buildings and stuff. Buildings. Remember they would do the rapid kicks? Yeah. Like, bro. The Rowdy Rough Boys was putting hands on the Powerpuff <laughs> Girls. It was so bad. There, there was a man. They were equal opportunists for real. There was a there was an online game that was on um, like Cartoon Network dot com. Yeah, and you got to pick who you wanted, and you would drag the characters. It was like a like a bumper cars, mm-hmm. except they were fighting and they would pose like they're about to punch. And, hey, I used to love those damn Cartoon Network online games. I used to love them too, but they used to love destroying my computers. I uh, asked my mama, but hey, computer ain't working. My brother-in-law come over because y'all playing them damn games, them <laughs> miniclips.com. <laughs> oh, miniclips. Miniclips.com. Mini clips bonus. What was it? Bonus.com. And then uh, what was the one with the tank? Uh, oh, under what was it underground.com oh uh, yeah i think i think it was underground.com those get the stick figure games yeah bro yeah Zio, what was it zio zio uh, uh the xio xio that oh that series was so dope but back to the cartoons my bad yeah. okay so so powerpuff girls and then moving on a little further ben 10 and kids next door man it's funny you want to know a year Kids Next Door came came into play? What? Oh two. That makes sense. And then that ben, makes sense. But man, Ben Ten came in oh five. The original Ben Ten. That that makes sense because yeah. believe me, I still watch cartoons now. So I was sure oh five was first freshman year of high school. Uh huh. It. Oh yeah. Oh five was freshman yeah. Year of high school. Yep. And I was watching me some Ben Ten. Ben Tennyson. Uh, but you know what I didn't like? I didn't like, uh, or you know what, like now? Um, okay, so Teen Titans came out 03. Ooh. And Teen Titans was dope. So I'm sitting there like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to show my daughter, hey, look, they got Teen Titans on Hulu. I'm thinking it's this Teen Titans. It's not. It's this new Teen Titans Go. Came out since 2013. And it's, it's okay. It's not like the teen titans we grew up if you if you watch it for what it is and stop comparing it to the the original teen titans cartoon how can you it's a funny show no no look what i had to i had to walk away and completely pull myself away from it because i was hating the show simply to hate it because it's not what i wanted it to be of course and it's good and when and when you actually realize that the last like season of uh, Teen Titans was that whole, uh, it was a comic book. It was uh, based on the comic arc, uh, comic series where um, how Slade came and took over. Spoiler alert! And Planet Terra, and then Terra like acted like she forgot who everybody was mm-hmm. and disappeared from the world. And Beast Boy was hurt. Like that's all like one of the main storylines from Teen Titans. I forgot what the what that comic book. It's actually one of the top ten recommended comic books to read. Okay, that series that series from the show. I think the best part on Teen Titans though is when Robin went evil in order to save everybody. Oh, he pulled a Batman. Yes, he pulled a basically. Man. He, he instead of working for Rachel Gould, he went and worked for uh, Slade. Mm-hmm. Um, you know how yeah, because 
Hey, I wonder anything. if there was copyright issues because they never called. Oh no, duh, because it was a kids' cartoon. They never called him Deathstroke. Hmm. I couldn't. They couldn't because it was a kids show. They yeah. always called him Slade. Oh, Slade, Slade, Damn, son. That listen, it's just even sitting here thinking about it. It's kind of like, dang, really. Like I'm trying to see how many seasons there was in that show. What was it like four? I don't know, but it say sixty three episodes. Yeah, sixty three mm. episodes from two thousand three to two thousand and six. Mm. Yeah. So it was three seasons. So what was uh? Remember Batman Beyond? Was that on Cartoon Network? Batman Beyond. What any Batman was uh was always WB. Okay. Um, I don't rem um, I don't remember them bringing it on during um to tsunami or no uh uh-uh. uh yeah well no no yeah no uh because Young Justice didn't even come on on any any Cartoon Network okay yeah, yeah Young Justice always came on on um XD was it Disney XD or yeah. not Disney XD um what did Young Justice come on C- correct me in the comments guys. Let me know where um, where Young Justice and Batman Beyond and all that came on. I always thought it was W. I know. It, I okay, remember. so it's WB. Yeah, Batman. I, Batman. Uh-huh. Um, that show uh, was Batman amazing. the animated series. That show Batman was amazing. Adventures. The Batman. That was, the Batman was cool. I, I, that was the reboot. The Batman, right? Yeah, and then yeah, um, that was pretty cool. Batman or Justice League Unlimited, Justice League. All of that was under WB. Okay. And then Batman. Young Justice is actually something you should watch, too, if uh-huh. you haven't watched it. Young Justice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, but. It, it, see, we, we had, I think, uh, at least it's safe to say we were spoiled. We got a gang of dope shows. I know we're just talking Hell about yeah. Cartoon Network, but, damn, we got some. Like, if you go, even if we if we were supposed to break it out, we'd be here all day talking about cartoons Bro. that we like. Because I'm telling you, man, um, cow, even Cow and Chicken was good, and Cow and Chicken was kind of like Creepy. crazy. Like, yeah, it, was it was like a it was a moderate Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, that's okay. That's the perfect way to put it. I was telling my wife that uh that Ren and Stimpy was cool. She didn't like it. I couldn't watch it, bro. I'd get sick. Ren that and, St- and uh, what was it? All real monsters. I'd get sick watching that shit too. It was just too gross for me. All real monsters was Nick, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. That was Nickelodeon. Just like, just like Ren and Stimpy. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think Nickelodeon put pressed the envelope. Man, they they, they always did, and it was always gross, bro. Uh-huh. Like most of their shows. Now that I think about it, it was always super over the top unnecessarily slimy and nasty i'm gonna tell you the one thing i remember about ren and stimpy why i used to watch it was because it was like the first time you could watch some shit that was like wasn't for you to watch and like you know you didn't you couldn't get in trouble it's a cartoon and no my parents at least my adult people in my life wasn't really paying attention to the shows and saying what are they talking about and asking me questions like that like we do like i know i do nowadays but Ren and Stimpy was like, oh, it was like you get to watch it and they doing all this crazy stuff, ripping their faces off and tur- zooming in on their noses. Yeah, oh, and then seeing man. all of that stuff. It was like, oh, yeah, we get to see that. <laughs> like, happy, so, happy, joy, joy, happy. happy so we, joy, we joy, used to happy, watch, man, it, happy, listen, happy, we were sport. Ed, Ed, and joy, Eddie joy. was another one. Um, yeah. Billy and Mandy was another one. Man, we got cartoon. We had cartoons for days and I wish there was like some type of. Of like a Netflix for cartoons. Is there something like that? Um, for those specific shows, no. But Netflix does a good job of bringing a lot of cartoons back. Yeah. Um, you just you gotta dig. But it they are there. Netflix does a really good job. Um, who else? Uh, and like, oh, I we haven't even touched on the anime that we grew up on. I mean, of course, the basic uh, Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. Mm-hmm. But you got to think Digimon was dope. Digimon Metabots. Was Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, oh, I used to love me some Metabots. Uh, what was the other one? Beyblade. Even Beyblade. though... When did the original Beyblade... Because I want to say that was like early 2000s. But Beyblade was dope, though. 
it, it got a little far fetched and extreme for me. Uh-huh. But the first like run of it was perfect. It was intense. They built a good story. But you know how all just like even with Yu Gi Oh, it went way. Once they start from, driving cars. And, yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I think the uh, original Beyblade was 2001. Okay, so the yeah. TV series, 2001 through 2005. Yep. And that, then they hey, did the, that, Bay Bay, the Beyblade Metal Fusion, and then uh-huh. they had some, like, Bay Wheels. That's the one you're talking about. And yeah, No, they, they, they even with Yu-Gi-Oh, they did a, um, there was a car thing. Yeah. Was it like Yu-Gi-Oh! I, SD or something like that? Or be, 5D? I'm going to tell you, I never really paid attention to Yu-Gi-Oh! I just remember always... Um, I remember getting the Blue Eyes White Dragon cards and selling them. Yep. That's yep. all I remember. Is yep. getting the Blue Eyes White Dragon cards and then selling them suckers. Oh, you remember those old school starter packs for Pokemon? Yep. You remember uh, the... Well, it would have like a Charizard or a Blastoise or a I, Venus I, on the go. I got all three. I remember uh, this liquor store by my my uh, junior high. The guy would sell them because he had he had two arcade machines in this in his store. He had Street Fighters Ooh. and he had Pac Man. And I used to go in there. I used to ditch school. Sorry, Mama. And I used to ditch school all the time. I would hop the gate. We had a tall last like. 15 foot chain link fits. I used to hop it, hop it every like, well, not every day, but every so often. Hop the fence, go over there, play Street Fighter, and he sold the Pokemon packs, the starter packs. And I remember I used to sell candy back then. And I used to, uh, I used to take all my money and just buy the packs because I always wanted a Charizard, a Blastoise, and a Venusaur. And I got yeah. all three. Was it worth it? No, because they weren't like, holographics and i don't have them anymore <laughs> so it was a waste of money waste of time waste of my education sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think um game wise you know what i just i remember um i remember my cousins introducing me into um I know we're off topic again, but my cousin introducing me into um, PC gaming. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually, I PC gamed majority before console gaming because my mom was always in school. So we always had a pretty up to date computer. Yeah. And, uh, and oh, I remember having to do dial up, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but uh, actually, this office is where. So we. Um, <laughs> I would play, uh, I'd play RuneScape, Diablo. Um, what else was it? What did I? Play? I'm pretty sure you play Age. Oh, Age of Empires, Civilization. Um, oh, I didn't even think about all of those. Uh, Command and Conquer. All I'm pretty sure you play. Uh, you played Quake. No, I didn't like Quake. It was too fast for me. But you played it. Yeah, I played it. Oh, yeah. man, I played the hell out of it. But I just, I didn't, well, only reason I play is when I'd be at a cafe. When I, uh, I want to say the place is called Dragon House. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was an internet, it was a PC cafe. You go in, you pay for so many hours, and everybody be in there gaming, LAN you, parties. You know what's crazy about those, those, like, uh, internet cafes? Is they're, um, they're so, like, word of mouth. Like they're so like ain't no you don't go you don't see like advertising sign. you know no big billboard no big side they're so word of mouth. I was talking to this dude he was like yeah there um I go to the 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 cafe all the time this is up where I stay at I yeah. go to the cafe all the time and yeah I, I was playing um this guy and uh they were playing um the, the CSGO. Uh-huh. I think let's just say oh, he was Counter Strike. CSGO. Oh yeah, man! I, I said you was, you went. Where'd you? When did you do this? He was like, "Oh yeah, this was last week." I said, "There's one up here." He said, "Yeah." I said, "Oh." I was like, "They they don't advertise it. They don't advertise it on nothing." He was like, "It's an old man that that runs it." I said, "That's crazy. They still have those out here." I know in in uh uh. Like like South Korea and Thailand, they have them internet cafes down there, like everywhere. Oh yeah, they're oh, everywhere. Yeah. Like they, oh yeah. The one guy did it. Uh, he did a um, uh, a documentary on one, like a small documentary on one, and he said that it's like fifteen dollars a month 
to have access to their internet cafes and it's like supported by Nvidia and all this crazy. I'm like, dang man, uh, you know, I'm in it's the wrong crazy. I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> man, I'm telling you. Like it just that whole that whole culture of um being online or being in a LAN party, just being around each other. It it was it was real cool and it was fun, like arcades and yeah. I, you know, they still around. I'm talking like they're dead. Mm-hmm. They're not dead. Um they're just not as prevalent like i remember i used to couldn't wait to go do laundry at the laundry mat um because they had a uh uh marvel superheroes yeah uh marvel superheroes uh machine and then they also had a uh what was that damn company called not namco was it namco that uh that would have like um the way of the samurai or yeah it would have like uh bust a move um, I Samurai Sword, Samurai Showdown, um, that soccer game, uh, First Strike, and then it would have like four or five games. Uh-huh. And you'd be able to rotate through them. Yeah, okay. oh, bro, it was. Uh, oh man, I used to love it, dude. Just drop mad quarters in there and have a good time, man. Yeah, you couldn't tell me nothing. Hey, man, that's how I go. I, but, I, j- I wish oh. those were like. Like it, this is the the time and the era for those to be on every corner. To be honest, you know what I'm saying because you got to think about where everything is at. I was just watching a reading an article on why on how uh, and the score. This YouTube channel they're called the Score. They do such a great job breaking down like uh like historic gaming moments. In esports, outside of esports, different like mm-hmm. major characters, different ma- or not even characters, different people, real people uh, that have been influential in their e- their respective esport title, stuff like that. Um, so like I old wa- boy who was the best Street Fighter in the world, Street Fighter player in the world. Yeah, um, not just I forgot his one. name. I call uh, him Master, and then he uh, he retired after his big tournament. Um, was it moment? I forget. Moment thirty seven. Was that? I think it. I think that's what. I think that's the person you're talking. I forgot. Daigo. 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 Yeah. yeah. Moment thirty seven. The super. The superhero Ken. <laughs> Ken versus Chuck Lee. Chung Lee, where he parried Chung Lee's Ultra. And he parried every attack on the Ultra. You should go watch those videos where people no, are talking. No, I'm not even talking about that one. I'm talking about the original Street Fighter. I think that was him. Wasn't isn't it Daigo? Uh, was it still Daigo? Did he come out of retirement? No. I think Daigo still plays. Nah, th- no, that's not him then. I forgot the guy's name. He all in the original Street Fighter. But that's beside the point. But, yeah. Oh. I got to look that up because I've always known Daigo as to be the best. Street Fighter player ever. No, so, there but, was a guy. There was a guy who won the first world tournament, and it was in San Francisco. Was it Evo? He, no, I don't think Evo. No, was no, no. This is this is back. This is back. Like power. Uh, th- this is a long time ago, and I, um, I want to say it was before we were even born, or like Damn. we were little kids. Damn. And yeah, and old boy. Won the war like the first big tournament in San Francisco, and then basically disappeared off the face of the earth, and he became a myth, and right. they found him again. Uh, and mm-hmm. he's like, "Yeah, I'm just a dad. Uh, I, I don't, I don't play anymore." He, he he even talked about how he got he hit a point of, um, he hit that point of well, it just turned into I was always winning. Like, oh, okay, let's go to a tournament. Oh, I won, and he he just <laughs> this sounds like uh. The Smash guy, I forget the dude's name. Oh, did he just retire? Just walked away. He from just it? walked. He was on. He on top of the world. Left, came back. It was a struggle to get on back, and it's still a struggle to get back on top. But it's mm. like I think at that's we'll save that conversation for another day. But um, damn, I forget what I was talking about. We're talking about cartoons, and then somehow we got to Street. Fighter. We got to Street Fighter. All right, well, we're just going to go to the next topic. <laughs> the Street Fighter cartoon movies were good. They're re- you heard their remake? The anime. You heard they're doing them again? They're, they're yeah. bringing them back? Yeah, they're bringing back a uh, uh, a series. It's going to be a series. Ooh, based speaking, on, speaking on video games, let's, let's, keep, let's keep video games and TV shows. What video game that's out right now and that's current 
um, would you want to see made into a TV show? Video game. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to save that one for last because that's going to bring us into our next topic. Uh, I think the story of Destiny. Okay. Destiny's storyline can easily be. And because they're so like all the stories are so like they're very they're wrote, they're written very they're they're very detailed and it's so much going on there's so many different main characters that they can give a story on and give like a not, not even like a like a little mini movie on like this person where they came from how they came to be how they came to be a guardian how they make it to where they're at now um i think uh that I've always said Metal Gear Solid, Ooh. like a like an actual anime for Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid anime would be massive, in my That'd be opinion. So crucial. That'd be massive. Like I, I just always keep like growing up playing these video games. The one thing I uh, that always hurt me was when I beat the game. That was it. I had to wait it for ended. the next they one. Yeah. Yep. But if they would, if and then I now that I'm older and I think about it, you, so much stuff has been shoved down our throat. I'm I'm kind of happy that I was only experiencing it in the game. You see what I'm saying? But no, uh, I got you. I think yeah, man. I think I think Metal Gear will probably be my number one. Metal Gear Solid. Metal uh, Gear, that is a good. Man. Yeah, the, as an anime though, Metal Gear Solid as an anime will be dope as shit. If you ask that, me. that would be crucial. It, it would have to be a gritty one. Yeah. Oh, oh man, that would be badass. I, I could see it drawn by the same people who did like Cowboy Bebop and yeah. uh, Samurai Champloo. Oh, see, that'd be dope too. Yeah. What I about you? That. What what game? What game? Um, you named some really solid ones. Um, what was what was on my mind? Um, well, they kind of did it with Final Fantasy uh, leading up to the most recent mm-hmm. game. They did make a, a mini a mini series before the game release. Yeah. Um, so they kind of did that. But that world could be expanded on. Um, and you can even take somebody who was part of the Kingsguard um, and the Kingsglaive and run with that. Um, that would have been dope. Um even though For Honor the game didn't didn't pan out like it should have, mm-hmm. didn't last like it should have, I think that world would made a made a good show. Really, um, you would have had to pick somebody as a third party or fourth party and not be a part of any clan, but kind of just interacted in that world. Um, I think that would be pretty dope. Um, what else? Um, I think Fallout. I think Ooh. if you took Fallout New Vegas, Fallout would be a dope movie. Yeah, yeah, that'd be. be a, and, oh, take that back! I feel bad, and I'm disrespecting. There, um, these, uh, these group of this group, they, uh, I want to say they're called Nuka Shorts or something like that. They made a whole series. Oh, really? In their live action, like, cause you know the whole thing, the whole story behind the vaults is, um, each vault was a different experiment. Mm-hmm. Like, there was a vault where they put one man and, like, a bunch of women, and then there was one vault where they put a bunch of men and one woman. Like, every vault was a different experience. Well, in this show on YouTube, um, I wish I knew the name off top, this guy, um, this was a vault full of fat people. And, um, like, they gave them so many supplies. They overstaffed, overstuffed them with all the food and junk and whatever they could need and he ended up being the, the runt of the pack but he's still a big dude mm-hmm. and he he's out in the wasteland and they run it they run into like a uh a, a ncr uh not an ncr they run into a ranger they run into uh a ghoul who hangs out with them and they go on like this dope ass adventure looking for bottle, bottle caps and uh-huh. uh it, it's actually like a it's worth watching on youtube really it, it's really yeah it's dope. I can't believe I forgot about that. But all in all, so to see that low budget, low um, or not high budget TV show on YouTube made, I can only imagine if they put some real money behind it and made it animation or even made it uh, just that would be a dope show. Bro, I'm going I'm to tell you something. Speaking on that, uh, I, I, this is why I always say like, 
if man, if if I had ultimate, like like if I had just all the money in the world to do what the what I wanted to do, I would have made like series. It's like different series on different games. Like it'll be from this game, but it'll be like a made up character. Like not gotcha. the main character of that game, but like a main gotcha. character that somehow was influenced by the main character to do it. Like the, to be honest, um, Destiny is the most recent one I thought about. Like, can you imagine? Like, um, you know, you doing a story. Like they actually do like a show, like a little animated, you know, show on YouTube. Like, it, and it, it's like a webisode type deal. On yeah. some of these events that happened in Destiny, and not even that. I, let's take it back. Resident Evil Five, or was it Five? Ooh. Or f- yeah, it was Five. The chick in the sh- in the movie. Yeah. In the sh- I was like, yo, we imagine if you had like a little cartoon or a little webisode, oh, same Resident type Evil, of graphics. That'd be a, a great TV show. Of, yeah, of course. I mean, it's a movie now. The the movie ain't but all that, but the movie wasn't. Once again. I like I do my best to pull myself away from it, <laughs> and I try to just enjoy it for what it is, and it's not too bad. But mm-hmm. compared to what the story really could be, and it they could have did better. I'm to me it was it was far fetched that they wouldn't have stuck to the the game. I think they committed. They stuck to something and they ran with it. Yeah, they. <laughs> it was they, like we're gonna mess up full speed. Yeah, they must have just shot. Worked. You know, wait for the stars, and they didn't hit that damn thing. I, I said that because I love Resident Evil, mm-hmm. and I just could not get with the fact that they. I um, love watching people play it. I've never been one to play it. The old ones, yes. The new ones, you should. Six, six was pretty good. Um, or yeah, six was pretty good, and I think there was one after that was pretty good. Too much of a scary cat, man. Man, they're not see five ain't even all that scary. Well, no, because you got the roundhouse kick, uh, zombies. Yeah, five, six, I think five, six, and seven. I think it was seven. No, seven is scary, bro. That's biohazard. No, I know there was another one with Wesker's son. Is that six? That was six. Remember with all the different characters, they were all across oh, the country. Oh, okay, because you 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 got to play as Chris. Everybody. You got yeah. to play as Wes as uh, Wesker's son. Valentine, and, you got to play yeah. as, uh, got to play as everybody. It's funny and, for me never really playing the games. I know the stories because that's how interesting they because, are. Hey, oh yeah, so that was Resident Evil Six. His name was Jake Mueller, but in in five, five was dope. I'm gonna tell you the 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 best part in five. The best part in five, and this is spoilers Spoiler for anybody ain't played it. I mean, the game been out on forever. Um, the best part in five was when you. F- uh, I think it was like you 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 think you're about to catch Wesker, and y'all run into like this. It was I forget. It, it, I just remember like a castle type environment, and uh, you see my wife. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. We're recording, Mama. We're almost done. What? <laughs> okay, I'll be down there soon. Um, Wesker's son, or no? Bye, I'm I'm sorry. So we we're in the castle. She her head just popped and I see the little girl like <laughs> All right. Um so Resident Evil 5. Uh you and the the I forget the chick's name. I I feel so bad for getting her name cuz she would have made a dope like her own thing. But um you go to save uh your partner Jill. And you mm-hmm. think like, "Oh yeah, I got to go get Jill. I got to go get Jill." And uh, you're in like this castle, right? So the castle has like a upstairs, a downstairs, and they all at some point can like meet with each other. And you can like jump down back to the middle and um, you go in there and she's laying on the floor and you go to like help her. But she's working for Wesker. She's like her mind is I taking do over. I remember that. And you literally run it like on hard. Beating that shit on hard was the most difficult thing. I thought it was the most difficult thing on Earth until I tried. Until Dark Souls. Not, I haven't even played Dark Souls. You, you, you the one that Dark Souls? no, you were the one that told me oh, if I really want the challenge, go ahead and play Dark Souls. And you was like, okay, okay, man. You know, let me tell you, let me tell you what Dark Souls has done for me. Dark Souls that would be a dope TV show too. Uh-huh. Um, Dark Souls taught me that as long as the game is fair, we're it's good. Um. 
because the game was hard, but it was fair. There was very few moments where I felt like, no, nah, that's stupid. Mm-hmm. There's no way I should have got hit. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it, it felt very fair. Yeah. But I'm, but man, when I tell you everything packed a punch, uh, that game just, it was brutal. It was brutal any way possible. Yeah. Like just brutal. Um, I think I enjoyed, uh, uh, which one did I enjoy the most? I had a lot of, I played, I think I played Dark Souls. I got, I played Dark Souls 2 a lot. Mm-hmm. And then I think I, really, I got three on PC, so I should, I should play it. Oh yeah. It, it's worth it, man. It's yeah. worth, it's worth the play. Um, it's definitely, you'll, it'll force you to think and be patient. Mm-hmm. And that's usually, you know, and when you're used to button mashing, you'll probably do better than I did because you played a lot of fighters and you're patient enough to learn the combos. Me, I just button mash my way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that is that is a Twitter. That's a Twitter post. <laughs> I'm just, I'll just, just keep it real, man. I just button, my, button mash my way to the top. Piss people I'm off along you. the way. He just kept doing the same move. Same move over and over again. Over and over. He kept that, jumping and kicking a, and dropping and leg sweeping. As a child. Over and over. As a, as a child <laughs> and as a dedicated gamer to specific games, that pisses me off. Oh, I know it does. It pisses me off. And the only reason why it makes me so upset is because you ever, you ever was good at something and you like yo, you think you the sh- you the shit compared to people around you. You ain't never been well, well. Okay, well, when you when you're the shit to something where and like even like I mean I'm talking about sports sports to like your little brothers things like that. Like you can let's use that as an analogy. I have two little brothers and I used to beat their ass at basketball every day. Like there was no there was no winning, no nothing. Like they couldn't do nothing. No sympathy, I'm, I'm, no freebies. I'm blocking everything. I do that to my daughter now. And um when they would get like a lucky shot off on me, it was like, okay, all right, now I'm ten times serious. But if they win, uh, no, run it back. No, man, run it back, <laughs> run it back, run it back. And I'm getting I'm I'm not even playing to have fun anymore. I'm playing because I'm pissed off. And and let me tell you guys, um, he's really using this as an analogy for the time that I destroyed him in Street Fighter. Destroyed 4. my ass. <laughs> he beat I, me. You beat me in Street Fighter Four off some lucky shit. I destroyed. I don't him. even remember who you were using. It doesn't matter. Sitting just, over I there just, just doing this to the controller. I just know he took that L. Um, he was he was pissed, and I walked away from the game. This is you know, this this is how he was playing. I haven't, I haven't played since. Um, Cause I don't need to. You know, I, I he knows. Yeah, he, he knows what's up. He See? beat me. He beat me the one time, and then it was like, and then I, like that's when I realized that that is that is very. You can't do. You can't be like that. Like, if somebody beat you, they beat you. <laughs> because you know how upset I I get. Yeah, he was hot. Yeah, no, I be you, you like I be understand. boiling red, boiling point. He, he probably didn't play his game for at least three days. Nah, I, I just nah. look. I'm gonna tell you, I got all, my... and it's funny because I probably lost like thirty times, but it didn't matter. Nah, I was more than thirty because all that mattered was don't that shortcut one your guy. Don't shortcut me, dog. It was that one victory. Yeah, that's all that matters. All the wins don't mean nothing to him. It don't mean. There's nothing. a saying that goes: even a blind squirrel can find a nut. Hey man, well, that nut was a good one. <laughs> Pause, <laughs> man. <laughs> but um, I I figured, what, what's the next topic? I think we cut oh, that one. That oh, one was murder. Yeah, we we beat that one to the ground. Uh-huh. Um, oh, we wanted to talk about being a henchman, and which that would be a dope ass show too, because you see how they did Gotham. And how it's from the perspective of Jim Gordon. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine just the even a video game? That'd be dope too. Just the life of a henchman. You're not yeah. a superhero. You're not a supervillain. You work for a supervillain. Yeah. And you get to pick which path you want to go down. And you just like Grand Theft Auto style, robbing banks, avoiding getting punched out by Superman and stuff like that. <laughs> uh-huh. Like, could you, oh, bro? Could you imagine? That'd be dope. 
I maybe I'm just like I don't no, know. no. I mean, I would love to see a. I w- do they have a villain superhero? I mean, is a villain movie? Do they have a villain's video game? Yeah, uh, it's called um, DC. What was it? DC superheroes. You get to be either a villain or a um, good guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that was like that. It's still the game's still up. It's still a huge game. I know people play the hell out of it. I had a guy who was built like the Hulk, but it was. Uh, Oh Rainbow yeah, remember fast. we used to play that all the time. Yeah, we used on to PlayStation play. 4. Remember Red Mayhem? Huh? Do you remember that dude Red Mayhem? Red Mayhem? The dude who would destroy us. I don't remember that. Bro, he came in like the tornado, like Red Tornado. Uh-huh. His name was Red Mayhem and he would come through the server wrecking people. <laughs> and it was so funny because it takes it takes Anthony, my cousin to tell you he would come through and do work mm-hmm. and then disappear. And then as soon as you spawn up and get back to that area, he'd be out there waiting for you like Batman <laughs> and yeah, catch you indeed. lurking <laughs> and destroy you. Oh, man. But but no, but the whole point of being a henchman. Like, okay, what any universe, what supervillain would you prefer to be a henchman for? Okay, I'm going to tell you why this is hard for me. It is very hard because I'm 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 trying to think of a of a, I'm trying to think of a uh, of a villain that that cares about his people. None of them do. And I'm a, I'm gonna take no. I'm gonna tell you the closest one that comes to mind is Magneto because. But Magneto's henchmen are are super villains. Okay, so but they work for Magneto. They. You hear me out though. Hear me out though. Magneto you just pulled the whole "I wish for more wishes" <laughs> shit. You, no, no, no. Are you trying to die? You think no. about all the hench, think about all the henchmen in the world. Magneto, they all Magneto. die. He had mutants. <laughs> he had mutants. That's why the show would be so great because hey. it'd be about you surviving, working your way up, getting. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a realistic oh, answer. So you, over there okay, so you, well, no, so let me ask you a question. You don't want me to pick somebody that's a where I have a superpower. Yeah, because you're just a henchman. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> like, well, the, oh, you ever see the X Men: The Last Stand? They was all henchmen. They all died. <laughs> they all were mutants. So, but they were henchmen. Oh, they did. They no, did, I'm they like, they I'm did like, the grunt work. <laughs> bruh. All right, so bro. you want me to work for like Two Face and get destroyed by Batman? Yes. 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 Okay. So, so at this point, it's which one's go, which one you think you gonna either survive or take the less pain. <laughs> yes, that's the point. Yes, that's I'm yes, that's exactly it. All right. And so let me get let me help you out. Let me let me start. I, I, you okay, I got my answer since we changed the question. <laughs> okay. So for me, it would be between Black Mask mm-hmm. and uh and the Riddler. Okay. Now the Riddler really didn't have, from what I remember, he didn't have too many henchmen. But Black Mask he always had henchmen, but they always looked like they were living plush. Yeah. Um, and he Okay, so uh, we, we about to pick I'm gonna pick two two then. Okay. Alright, so mine is Lex Luthor because I know he got money. <laughs> and he's smart. And I feel like you my to get health powers. He made me sick. What? <laughs> he was li- he liable to give you superpowers. Okay. Either that but either that, but also my health benefits, I know for a fact, you know, because he got a company, I'm going to get that. Like, I'm going to get, <laughs> like, I'm going to get that. I'm a paid employee. Like, I got 401k, Ooh. all that. So I know that for a fact. I don't think, I don't think, oh, oh, Black Mask may have it. Well, Black Mask, that. remember, he was rich too. He came from a rich family. Yeah, so Black Mask why, may have. That's why I said I'm gonna pick Luth, Lex Luthor based off the same ideas. Because I, I, I mean, I'm just saying I don't think like I don't think Bane got a <laughs> got a nah, LLC see, or <laughs> I don't. I don't want to work. I couldn't work for like Bane or, uh, or the Joker. Victor I Zazz, definitely couldn't work for the, the Joker. Joker. Oh, now let's talk about ones we would avoid at all costs. Joker. Next, the Joker. <laughs> Can you imagine, bro? This Joker. dude don't. Hit, why he, why he the only one that got to survive? <laughs> why I can't survive? Man. This is the questions even. I got to ask. Bro. I, ooh. 
I would want to work for Raja Ghoul, bro. I would want to be part of the Demon's Head. That's like joining the Illuminati. Yeah, but you a badass ninja though. Yeah, you know you what? Get all I, that super I, train. You know what? That that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense because you you get something from it. Like yeah, it's like you move up in the ranks based off of what you get for. I think they be selling henchmen short. Like henchmen really like they you telling me out of all these people you ain't got somebody that has proven to be top tier. Like like I can like I can take on any of these other superheroes. Like how many times y'all gonna train me? Like what is y'all training well, program like? Y'all only training some specific people to be the top guy. Let me be the like, top guy. Like I love the way they use Victor Zaz on Gotham. Uh huh. He's a badass on that show. He he of course can be a main villain in his own right. But him working for um who does he work for in the show? Penguin. Yeah, he works for Penguin. Man, he's beastly. Oh, what about Gorilla Grodd? Nah, man, cause he probably stink. I mean, but he a king though. Yeah, but <laughs> he a king and he's smart. Yeah, but I bet you all they have is like banana smoothies. Like I that lifestyle. Nah, <laughs> you sleeping in huts. Like I'm, I don't want to. I'm talking about. I'm okay, but ain't nobody going out to the. De- P- have you ever noticed that when villains and superheroes go out to the desert, they going for one or the the jungle or Mars, Moon, different universes? They go out for something specific. You think where he live at, there's something specific that no, they look for? Remember, Grodd got sent to the uh, to the jungle planet, like yeah. the the Earth version, ver- and uh, he became king. So I'm trying I'm to good, you on the planet, dog. He own the whole <laughs> he nah. on the whole planet. <laughs> Nah, that's mm-mm. I. You huh. know, Killer Croc. Do Killer Croc got henchmen? I don't think Killer. Nah, I think he is a henchman. No. He he is like the ultimate henchman. Yeah, he like. Remember a hey, remember, remember the joke in the comic book, and he was like, "Man, every time it always has to be in a sewer. <laughs> Why always got to be in the sewer? It'll be a sewer." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm trying to think who else I'd want to work for or wouldn't want to work for. So for sure, Gorilla. Uh, I'm not working for Scarecrow. Joking. Nah, nah he I'm a girl good. too. I'm nah, good, man. yeah. Mister Freeze, mm-hmm. I, I like it cold. I don't like. I don't like the freeze. I could. I could. I could mess with Mister Freeze. No, nope. I'm a big dude, man. I sweat over anything. So. Yeah, but he built for like, that. He built. Yeah. For, he built for snow and ice. <laughs> and then, and then you got to think though, like. At least you know Batman ain't gonna kill you. But see, Ra Ra got gonna whoop that ass though. Yeah, Raza Ghoul though, they got healing remedies. So you yeah, got that's you why almost I said, got like infinite health care, dog. Like that's like infinite. But you gotta think they probably ain't got Xbox or nothing like that. Like but, Yeah, but you're trying to be a ninja. What you wanna be a ninja? You can't have your cake and eat the you can't have both. You can't have ice cream and cake. I could just go steal like a Game Boy or something. But look. I'm telling you. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. There you got Xbox, but you try to be an ultimate ninja. Which one you want? <laughs> you can be ultimate Look, ninja in Ninja Gaiden, or you can be ultimate ninja in real life. Which one you want? Pick and choose. Do I really have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> ultimate why ninja. Can, why can't I be a mediocre ninja? <laughs> can I balance it out? <laughs> yeah, like, can we be in the middle? Can we, is there, is there, a st- like, Somewhere in the middle, I'm, but I'm, no. But I, all in all, I think you would get the most training and whatnot and skill working for Ray Shago. Um, you would be a pretty badass ninja. Um, I mean, you could work for uh, Raja Ghoul and then leave like Batman did. Yeah, that is true. You could just take your knowledge. I'm gonna take my talents to Cleveland. You stupid. <laughs> Look, put on that, put on the hat, <laughs> and shake. Drop my robes, my green robes on the ground, man. Oh, um, oh man. Dang. Hey, you remember? Uh, what was the? What were the guys that worked for Splinter? What were they called the Foot? Yeah, they were called the Foot, weren't was they? It? For Master Splinter. Let me see. Yeah, the Foot. <laughs> Look like worms with arms. Was it called the foot? I want to say they were called the foot. Huh. What were uh, they I, called? I, I'm trying to see. Uh, 
I said Master Splinter, uh, Shredder. My bad. Oh, and it's funny. That's what I wrote. Yeah, my bad. It was Shredder. Uh, I want to say it was Shredder in the foot. Let me see. Foot Clan. Because the Foot Clan. Yeah. yeah. The Foot Clan. <laughs> the Foot Clan. Like y'all stink. Could you? No, could but, you? Could you work for Shredder? No, because I think he's too hands on. Like, like we, literally. We call, yeah, and we call it the foot, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like give me a cooler be, name. Be I, gotta, I gotta feel good about what I'm doing. It's so, either hey, think about it's it. Either hey, the hey, where you from? Head, it's either the demon's head or the foot clan. Hey, where you from? <laughs> foot, the clan. foot clan. Foot clan. <laughs> foot. <laughs> like, this thing, you get your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, foot powder, my only weakness. <laughs> the foot. I'm crying over here. Ah, <laughs> oh, gold bond. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I could be a hit. Okay, so. Are we, do we got to be humans? What, what? Can I be a robot if I want it? <laughs> I just yes, you're gonna be a Decepticon. <laughs> <laughs> How you uh, know I take it? <laughs> right, you're gonna be a Decepticon. <laughs> How you know? <laughs> you're always looking for superpowers. And you're always looking. <laughs> hey, listen, man. If, I, if I'm gonna sell my life to you, I gotta get something. Though. Gotta I got get some G- perks. You got to hey, some. Hey, but Megatron gonna mess around and turn you into a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Touch me and I'll become his handgun. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'll jam until he throw me away. Oh, Shoot, my get, God. Sc- somebody yeah. scam me. Phone. I need to be on the phone oh, or something. Oh, my God. Oh, That's man. what I said. Do I have to be human? Can I be a robot? Just yeah, saying. I'm just saying. Uh, I'd be a, I'd be a Decepticon. This um, fool first go say oh, I'll go work for Magneto. <laughs> like you can't have your own comic book working for Magneto. You I'm just a, I'm just saying, man. Like you gotta. It, every the question, character in that movie on the Last Stand is a major comic book character. But when you no, not the guy that was throwing tree barks out his hand. He wasn't throwing tree bark. He was throwing bone. He's a major character. Them was trees. He was throwing. He was throwing. No, he was throwing char- trees. I want to say he was even a Teen Titan at one point. A Teen Titan? How? No, not a Teen Titan. My bad. Um, not uh, was he a a New Avenger? I forgot that dude's name. He brings bones out of his body, like on his forearms. Yeah, uh, but, but he was. <laughs> that's what he was doing. He was doing. That's what he was doing. Wasn't that what he was doing? I I gotta. I want to see. I really want to see a, a whole film reel of them making the sounds because you know they don't record anything live. Mm-hmm. They just film the action and then yeah. they go behind the booth and make the and then make add all, the all that stuff in. There. So you they showed a clip of uh, I could do that. Hugh Jackman doing Wolverine, off. bro. That's what. Okay. Rolling this over, we're getting in the last minute. So rolling this over in the music, I think watching people make ad libs is the funniest <laughs> thing on earth. And I'm happy I got my headset because I can mimic it right now. Uh-huh. So, because of course you don't hear nothing. <laughs> they they got it in their ear. Yeah, and you just sitting there watching them. They, yeah, I'm the, I'm the engineer looking up. Yeah. Oh. Uh. What? Okay. Blah! <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. He said, Blah! When, I, when I realized, like, and then I go listen to people like Young Thug, and then I go listen to, uh, like, anybody with funny ad libs. Oh, uh, what was his name? Uh,. OT Genesis. Yeah, OT. Who else? OT Academy. Uh, OG Mako. Like, when I listen to these guys, or even, can you imagine Waka Flocka making his ad libs? Flocka! <laughs> and squad! And it's all quiet, and you just hear somebody else. Hey, yo, why he screaming, dog? Hey, man. Hey, like, everything okay in here? Oh, ad libs. I, w- uh, <laughs> I would have to do ad libs with nobody in the room. Hey, just push, push play and close the door on your way out. And you know they be feeling it. Just be up in there like. Nah, imagine. But you know what? Imagine like, imagine like East Coast rappers like not like Jada, like Styles, like like the whole. Uh-huh. Lot. 
<laughs> like when they when, <laughs> imagine when they were rap because when they were rapping they would say certain Luch. parts over yeah and they would be like be, yeah yeah drop the bomb yeah boom boom <laughs> It'd be it'd be stuff it'd be stuff like that they would say the words over. So that's why I was kinda like, damn, like that's kinda really sitting here thinking about it. Could you imagine like being in the room watching somebody make this random ass noise and you don't hear Bro, exactly what they talking about? No, you know what was funny? They showed clips from uh The Flash, Supergirl, and um and uh Arrow without the special effects. And it was comedy, hmm. bro. You just see the dude, because of course we know it's not real. Yeah, like, we we know that. But to see it without the TV or movie magic, they look real dumb. They're yeah. Like, okay, jump now, and they jump, and they land, make it look like they had a like they had a hard fall, or when uh, Barry Allen's sitting there moving his arms like a tornado, he's really just waving his arms, and they <laughs> add the mechanics to it. Like it just. It's the little stuff that's funny as hell for me. Yeah. Hey, listen, oh, man. I, I'm i just saying. Ooh, ooh. How about... Uh-oh. Who you gonna work for? I, you was gonna say Frieza. I was about to say Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Frieza. But then... I knew you was gonna say Frieza. I was Frieza, thinking her, but so then... So you could be a guy. I was thinking singer. him. I was thinking Frieza. Uh-huh. But then I in, I in my back of my mind I started thinking <laughs> I'm like like damn man like I I I, I joined I'm gonna go ahead and just say I wish for more wishes <laughs> I joined I'm gonna use my last wish I, to I wish go for ahead, a, a go infinite ahead, wishes I, Hey listen man you didn't specify on nothing when we started this conversation we did pre production work and you ain't say nothing so I, I'm just trying to I'm trying to you win everything like, to get superpowers. <laughs> you, you don't you want superpowers? He's trying to go ultra instinct as a henchman. Don't you, you want superpowers? <laughs> don't you want? Yeah, super but I, I, I don't I don't think a henchman should be able to go ultra instinct. Why not? See, why the hell not? See, this is not, a, th- see you you know this is why you got the the mentality of a writer. I'm just saying if I'm here if I'm supposed to be fighting your ass and you go ultra instinct, what makes me not be able to go ultra instinct? Why the hell I'm gonna fight you? He gold. I ain't fighting him. He's he gold. Got, I can't go still gold. Got your tail. I'm just saying he gold. If he going gold and we all know he kicking our asses up, down, and sideways, why would I want to fight him? I don't even want to be a henchman after that. Like, think about know, that. You, you got. I don't know you, if I'd want to be the first Black Sand because the freezer called me a monkey. Like, oh, he no, nah, he ripped him in ass. You got ripped him in ass. Yeah, like. I don't know how I'd be able to take you that. You felt that monkey? When he said that, I was taken back. I was like, I was like especially since I started watching them over. And I yeah. and when he when when he was getting destroyed by Goku and he was like, You're just a monkey and he powered up, I would be like, Oh yeah, no, I was no. Like, hey man. Oh man, no. Man. Like stop the spirit bomb <laughs> midway, like, hey, we ain't gotta do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is this is my whole my whole point to being a henchman. And even thinking about where I'm going to put my resume in at to be a henchman. Got you. If if you want me to be your henchman, and I got to fight the likes of Goku, the likes of Superman, Wolverine, Superman, mm-hmm. but even Batman is a god. He Batman. I gotta have some type of hope. Like we. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just throw me in the fire to slow him down. It don't work. <laughs> like, keep cover. What? Keep what? cover. What? <laughs> he, he just picked the car up. He just threw like, the car. Uh, sir, he's throwing the Empire State Building at us. What do you? What am I supposed to cover? He like, just got kicked through a rock. What do you mean, slow him down? <laughs> See, bruh. this this is why I need some type of hope. So if I had some type of like hope that <laughs> hey, like hope. yo. <laughs> Hey, we gonna you gonna, you gonna get this power here. You gonna be able at least you gonna be able to get kicked through a rock. <laughs> you can survive, get kicked through a rock. <laughs> All right. I'm come just on, that I knew who you was gonna pick. I'm just saying, you wanna be. Come on, <laughs> think about it. You, why you why are you selling yourself short? Because <laughs> don't, I'm don't to sell paint yourself it as short. Semi realistic as possible. And what? How can you say that? <laughs> We're fighting Look, Superman. We just talked yeah. about people that were fighting Superman. What do you mean? He's Superman. I want to be well, allergic to kryptonite. I want to be able to punch people in the face and crater and create 
I want to be able to jump the tallest building. In the world. Come on, man. Give me some you hope. Know, I'm supposed to fight you know, him. You want me to you protect know. you from him. I'm the infantry. I'm first line of attack. Not even defense. Of attack. Because we going to go. They come after we do something wrong. Okay, you want so me to me, stand toe to toe. Villain. Villain. Villain superpowers. Or villain henchmen where I got powers. I, I wouldn't mind working for Fuhrer Bradley in uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Okay. Um, I wonder what my alchemy ability would be. Um, I wouldn't mind working for the Aku- uh, the Akutsuki, uh, the Kotsky in uh, Naruto. Mm-hmm. That'd be dope. Um, uh, I couldn't work for Frieza because he called me a monkey, and I'm gonna just go ahead and put a bomb in his pod. Um. <laughs> Why would he call you a monkey though? Why you got to be a saint? Because he called everybody else monkeys. He, he called Goku a and Frieza. Or Goku he was and calling Vegeta. his people's monkeys. Even King Vegeta when he killed them all in Bardock. Because he him, was a he, he called them all he monkeys. Was a, well, because he had a tail, he could become the, well, the bro, gorilla. If I'm gonna be a saint, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a tail. Like, yeah, but you you don't tail. have to be a saint to be a henchman. Well, if I'm they're not be all super saiyans, if I'm gonna be a henchman for if I'm gonna be a henchman for Frieza, I'm gonna be a saiyan. Why would I I'm waste saying, my time doing anything else? I'm just saying you could choose. Who else go Ultra you, Instinct? You could choose. Who else go? Who you else get blue hair? So you want to be blue hair? Would you have worked for when he when Vegeta was evil? Would you have worked for Vegeta? No, nah, because he was a bully, and he was strong. He, he was he see, was punching on is, people for no reason. At least th- Frieza, it was just words. Like it's just like, at Frieza, Frieza, you just couldn't say that. All you had to do is yeah, say yes, sir, just no, wait until he leaves and he snicker in his little pod and he float away. Yeah. But with Vegeta, he liable to flick you across your nose and break yeah, your he jaw. He destroyed Nappa for no reason. Nappa, for Nappa no just reason. wanted help. Just because he, he's weak. No, nah, because he caught that elbow from Goku. Goku gave him that. <laughs> Goku gave him that. Yeah. <laughs> he was and like, oh, that hairline, bro. I would make so much fun of him. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, I would roast ass. the shit out of Vegeta. Yeah. Like, see, I couldn't. And then I'm too goofy. <laughs> See, yeah, thank you. Like, why, like, why, why are you constantly banging on me, uh, Vegeta? But look, so also, I have to take into account how goofy I am in like real serious <laughs> moments. I wouldn't be able to handle it. Like, you I be the guy in the back laughing. <laughs> like, bro, like, can you imagine? Think about it. Like, you the ninja in the ceiling waiting to catch Bruce Wayne slipping. <laughs> Like and then, and then you see Rayshawn go leg sweeping, and I'm just up there like. <laughs> 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 you would like, be the ninja uh, that failed a thousand times because you could. Man, like you can't send me on no covert hey, missions. I'm you just the, there. You the, the ninja they call can't get right. <laughs> can't get right. Like oh, there you go. You couldn't oh, even shit. catch a koi fish. You're yeah. Laughing too damn hard. You can't like, get right. Just, oh man, I'm trying to think who else. Um. I wouldn't want to be a Decepticon because I couldn't be a cool car because my size wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Why not? You could be anything. Just scan it. No. See? What, See? What? So am I, gonna be, am I going to be a Hummer-sized Corvette? Just scan it. Am I going to be a Hummer-sized <laughs> Corvette? Where all the parts going to come from? The Hummer stretch. <laughs> <laughs> so what? what why is that Corvette? Why is that Corvette taking up two and a half lanes? <laughs> it's a wide body van. <laughs> <laughs> why that Corvette got slide doors? <laughs> no, but like, like look, see, that's the beauty look, of being the Decepticon. Like, you no, do. it's not. You see the all the big Decepticons. They had to be big things ooh, like a Tonka ooh, truck. Ooh, ooh, and, sinister. What? Or wait, what? What was the dude's name? The opposite to uh. To Green Lantern. Oh, Sinestro. Sinestro. Ooh, yeah, that's Ooh, me right yeah. there, son. Ooh, See, give me my ring, B. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna change my color Sinestro, to blue. The the Sinestro corpse. Uh, yeah. That, even I would. I would. Yeah, I dope. I would. I think that's my number one now. All you gotta uh, do is give yeah. me a ring, and I think about it. Oh, See, I'm gonna be, I'm be dropping yeah, big be, gummy bears be on beat up by bounce houses. <laughs> I'd be a terrible. I'd be a terrible lantern. Like I, I'd be amazing. I'd I'd beat you up with unexpected funny stuff. Like I'd slam big gummy bears on. on that's what I'm saying. Like Ted you. would be like pop locking. <laughs> I, I just 
I'm trying to think what or I would have like Kenny jump out of nowhere and beat you up from mm-hmm. South Park. Like I would do really stupid stuff, and we are really over time. Oh, we are. Um, hey, this so, is funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Well, folks, please, 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 hit the subscribe button, comment, really connect with us. We're and then make sure to subscribe to our individual channels. Yes. Everything is Baron J six seven, and mine is XT Jones. Everything and in the just, description. Er, yeah. Excuse me, everything is in the description below. And then you can even support us on our Patreon page because you guys know about the demonetization and all the suppression of videos and whatnot. And I know yeah. as much crap as we talk, we're not going to pop up. Like, <laughs> so you got to come digging for us. Yeah. So please support our Patreon page and just, you know, uh, really connect with us. Um, and tell us what, what what villain you w- w- or yeah what yeah. villain would you want to be a henchman for? Like, but long story short, which villain you want to work for, or you wouldn't mind working for? Oh, now we gonna change the we gonna change it now. What? Well, that's th- you the one who start picking Sinestro corpse. You, you was laughing at I me. I want to be. You was laughing well, at me. When we I already picked. didn't did fifteen minutes talking about it. I'm Baron J six seven. I'm T Jones. Please. Subscribe, like, (laughs) comment. Peace. Peace out.